Once we've done the survey, we want to go back and take measurements of the aorta in a transverse view in three levels. One level is proximal, above the level of the renal arteries. The second is just at the level of the renal arteries. And the third is at the level of the bifurcation. We're going to go back to the epigastric area and look for our landmarks again. In the middle of the screen, we have the aorta pulsating. To the right of the aorta, the IVC. And anterior to the aorta, we have the superior mesenteric artery. I'm going to freeze the image here. and perform two measurements. Measuring from the outside wall to outside wall, so I measure the entire size of the aorta and not just the residual lumen of an aneurysm. I will perform two measurements, anterior to posterior, and a transverse measurement. From there, I'm going to move down a little bit more inferior. Optimizing the image so I can see the wall of the aorta clearly. I will freeze the image, perform my measurements, the same two views again, from outside wall to the outside wall. That's the AP measurement, and the same with the transverse. The measurement is displayed on the bottom left of the screen, and in this case our measurement is 1.36 centimeters by 1.69 centimeters. So we're looking for a value of over 3 centimeters to be considered aneurysmal. I'll keep moving down in a transverse view towards the bifurcation. And here we see the aorta divide. So right before it divides, I want to perform my measurement at that point. So I will freeze and perform the same two measurements again. anterior and transverse from outside wall to outside wall. And that is the completion of the measurements you need to do for the abdominal aortic exam.